glad you could join us today for this classic SEC rivalry. I tell you what, there's little in the way of camaraderie between these two schools. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Tennessee is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. left finding his tailback tackle at the 27 yard line the man defense proves to be too tough against the screen that was an excellent job by the defenders they fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop Callaway back to return it they get this one off and it's a beauty Callaway fields at the 29 he makes it out to maybe the 39 yard line So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Small gets about four yards on the play. That makes it seven and six. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. He might have a chance. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Well, it's a first down here, and I love to see the wide receiver get a chance to get his hands on the football. You know, the offensive coordinator told us earlier this week they're going to do everything they can to get this receiver involved in the game plan, whether it means catching a ball or at times running the football. And there, he shows what he can do with the football in his hand. And now he's got room to run. He makes his way to about the 42. It's so it's second down and about two yards to go. Let's go, D. Let's go, D. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Let's give this quarterback a lot of credit. He recognized the man coverage. And guys, I'm going to tell you something. He probably knew he was going to go to the post before the ball was even snapped. Well done. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. And that's the defensive end who was able to get him that time. It's pretty awesome when a freshman can work his way through the offensive line to get a sack like that. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. And he's tackled around the 22-yard line. That makes it 37. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That 
makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He's tackled at the five-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Hands it off. Runs right for a nice game. From the one-yard line, third down. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. The quarterback didn't have any time to find the open man. chip shot. Tennessee is looking to go up by three. It's up and it sails through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Brooks looks ready to kick this one off. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Tennessee's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Quick throw to the tight end. He's taken down around the 35-yard line. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. First and 10. Ball on the 35. And down he goes at about the 45. it out and that was almost picked off that was a nice play anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus it's third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker brought down at the 46 yard line he made a really good move at the line of scrimmage Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. He's pushed out of bounds around the 36-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. after a decent run up the gut. They'll bring him down right around the 22-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 15. He's on the run. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Tenth play of the drive. And 
he's taken down at the eight. That was a loss of three yards. That brings up second and goal. We've got second and goal. Eight yards out. Five wide. They bring him down in the backfield. That is a loss of two yards. That makes it third and goal. This is the 12th play of this drive. And he's tackled in the open field. So it's fourth down. This one should be makeable. Florida can tie it up here with this kick. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. They'll work the right side, and there's nothing going there. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Moves up in the pocket. That's a live ball. That was a close one, but the ball goes out of bounds. Wright is back deep to return the punt. And this one is a beauty. Wright fields it at the 40. And he's taken down at the 47-yard line. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. From the 44-yard line, second down. He might have a chance. He's at the 30. He gets to about the 27-yard line. Got it first and 10. Ball on the 27 yard line. And they make the stop at the 19. They come out in a five wide set. Made at the 12. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 12 yard line. Pierce takes it left. And he is drilled at the one. We played one quarter, 3-3 three, three tie.
even first quarter as we head into quarter number two. Fires quickly, touchdown! And he tacks on the extra point. It was a six play, 46 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And he throws it away. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Has some daylight. Makes it to the 41. First and 10. Ball on the 41 yard line. Fires incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Makes the grab and steps out right away. It's first and 10. Ball on the 43 yard line. Tackle right around the 46 yard line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. to the tailback and he's tackled at the 37 yard line so it's third down now and they're going to need about four gets out to around the 25 great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field they're getting very tired and this is the eighth play of the drive A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. First down, and they are very close to tying this thing up. Play action. He has some room. He's tackled at the one-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Touchdown, Tennessee! Good vision here by the quarterback and a good understanding of where he was on the field. He didn't need much, and he knew he could get it himself. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. 
and he hits the PAT. A 10 play, 77 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. This one's all even at 10. Tennessee lines up for the kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And he's level at the 34. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Gets out to about the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, first down. He'll get it again. He tackles him for a loss. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Gets to about the 31-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 31. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. He's going to try and scramble. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. This is the eighth play of this drive. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. First down. They've got four cracks at it inside the five. It's first and goal. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Here's play number 10 on the drive. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Call a loss of six yards on the play. That makes it third and goal. Still eight yards away. Now it's third and goal. Taken down around the three yard line. Florida could take the lead with this field goal. Somebody jumped early down there. False start offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. They're going to go for the easy three here. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. 
He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mullies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Dives forward. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. Looks middle, got his back, brought down, right around the 40. Number three brings him down to the 40-yard line. That brings him second and five. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. Throws out to the running back, no good. Just flung it out there, and it was short. Uh, he got a little bit lazy here. There's no question. He should be able to make that throw nine out of ten times. That was the one time he missed it. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. What a collision. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Florida is up a field goal. It's a fumble. And they fall on the loose ball. So the offense is very lucky to keep possession of the ball. I think he was looking upfield and trying to look for some room to run, but he forgot about the football. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed from their own 29-yard line. Second down. He's to the 40. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. their own 46 yard line first down they'll bring him down around the 38 yard line down 10 to go ball on the 38 yard line five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun quick throw out to the receiver and he's taken down at about the 29 yard line they pick up good yardage that time on the pass play here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense and in this case he did nice job florida is up by three Give to the tailback. Tackled for a loss. Loss is one on the play. That will bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Nice run there as they work the outside. That was a nice run on third down. Getting up field and picking up the first. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop at about the 21. It's second and five here. 
Ball on the 21 yard line. Throws complete, he's got room to work. That's a great tackle at the 12 yard line. The Gators use their second timeout. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Tackle made at the three yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Tackle around the two-yard line. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. It's really hard to defend the pass with your back to the end zone. But it can also be difficult for an offense because the field tightens up. That was a nice play. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Oh, he got nailed on that one. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick strike and he drops it. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Play to half. Florida leads 20 to 10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these offenses have proven to be capable of making explosive plays, and really we expected to see a lot of that in this game. Haven't seen it so far. You know, David, that, this game reminds me a lot of the 2012 Stanford-Oregon game when the Stanford defense did such a great job of limiting Oregon's big plays. Yeah, and Oregon's an offense that thrives on the big plays, and you see them go the length of the field all the time, and how fast? I mean, just a blink of an eye, you can see it. But what about when you make them execute on third down? What about when you make them execute on third to short? And then you put them in field goal position or field goal range, and you make them decide whether they want to kick a field goal on fourth and short because they don't really feel comfortable getting it. When you make an offense go the length of the field and execute, th that's when turnovers happen. You, you need somebody to slip up and make one mistake. If they put 12, 13, 14 plays together as opposed to four or five, the likelihood of that mistake coming very much swings in favor of you. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. It's fielded at the two. Brought down by the kicker. Florida is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. 
They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackled after a decent pickup. Around four yards there on the quarterback keeper. That makes it second and six. From their own 41 yard line. Second down. They'll drop him for a loss. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Throws it in a hurry. And he is drilled at the 45. Brooks is waiting for the snap. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. And he's tackled around the 18-yard line. Lost of two on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down and 12. Ball on the 18. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. Sit. Hey, easy, easy. Hey, check, check, check. And he hits him hard at the 14-yard line. Lost a score on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There was a bad call made on the field, but they were able to fix it because of the replay. This is exactly why the booth review is a great thing for college football. Booming kick. Callaway fields it at the 27. He's taken down at the 28. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. Second down and seven. Ball on the 31. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at the 35. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. is back deep to return the punt. Tackle made at the 31. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Little handoff. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. 
Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's level at the 50-yard line. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Davis, left side, and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Scrambling around. Now he's going to run and watch out. He steps out right around the 28-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 18-yard line. Let's it go. Got a man open. Touchdown. They call it a catch, but the boots signal down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20, brought down at the 20. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And he's tackled after positive yardage. So the quarterback keeps it for about seven yards. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. scrambling second and long ball on the 42 brought down at the 45 yard line This crowd is going absolutely crazy. Got a man, watch out here. 
He's pushed out of bounds at the 40-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. He's knocked out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. We're at play number nine of this current drive. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And down he goes, right around the 34. It's second down, one to go. Ball on their own 34. Throws incomplete. Takes it right, he can't get back to the line. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He really got a hold of that one. Callaway fields it at the 22. Tackle at the 33-yard line. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. He gets hit out of bounds around the 40-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's got an opening. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. First down. Man, 
grabs it and hammered right there. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. From the 41-yard line, second down. Tackle made at the 42-yard line. So at the end of three, Florida leads 27-17. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. They can't hear a thing down there. Screen pass. He's got his half back. We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Huge play for the defense. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They come out in a five-wide set. He scrambles. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Diving for extra yardage. First and 10, ball on their own 45. Jones makes a handoff. Tackle around the 47 yard line. He scrambled, but he didn't get much. Brad, this defense reacts too quickly for a scramble like that to work. He needs to spread them out a little bit more to try to create more room to run. From their own 47 yard line, second down. He's going to try and scramble. <laughs> Under heavy pressure. Here's the pass. Broken up. Galloway awaiting the return. And he's tackled at the 20-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Run right side, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 21. And they make the stop around the 17-yard line. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for them. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. He's going to air it long. And he's 
taken down at the 40. That makes it first and 10. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. He fights forward to about the 39. And so it's another third down upcoming here. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. It's first and ten. Ball on the twenty five. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. This is the ninth play of this drive. He's taken down at the 25. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Slings it out there incomplete. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. On the ground, up the middle. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 20. Quick pass. Knocked out of bounds at the 38-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. He's tackled at the 49. Gets about four yards on the play. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 45. Tins the mic. Tins the mic. 
Tackled after a decent pickup. it to the 38-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. From the 38-yard line, first down. He's at the 30. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Florida is about to extend the lead to three scores. Taken down to the backfield. This is a big time read by this safety. You know, a lot of times as a safety, you're sitting back there making sure there isn't a play action pass or a play potentially that can go behind you. I think this safety has that sixth sense. His instincts on that play were special. He read the run, got into the backfield, and made the play. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Brought down right around the two-yard line. Game of two yards. That brings up fourth and goal. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. it to the outside. That's a great tackle at the 39-yard line. Just over a minute left. Here comes the pressure. It's broken up. Fred, I noticed during practice this week that this linebacker may be a wide receiver or running back at heart. He's messing around during practice with some of the offensive skill players. Really, it pays off for him here as he's able to show enough instincts there to be able to knock that ball away. Looks to him again, complete. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. Let's it go. That close to being intercepted. From the 31 yard line, it's second down. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. The crowd at this stadium, always a factor in a football game. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's all the way home. Touchdown.
touchdown gets these guys right back in the game. We're looking at a one-score ball game now. converts the extra point. He's taken down at the 44. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's gonna count, and this could be the one right here. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Florida with a six-point lead. Great one to win, a really tough one to lose. 30-24, Gator. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? Florida came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.